What's up Capricorn? Welcome to the channel. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. I hope you're all doing amazing. Um, just wanted to let you guys know I'm right now shuffling the Gilded Tarot deck to do a general reading for April 2019. This is going to be for singles and couples so you can just stay tuned right the way through. At the end of the reading I will pull one Romance Angel Oracle card for one for singles, I've got a card here, and one for doubles, oh, doubles, I've said that so many times today, sorry, for couples. So um, general reading guys, hope it resonates with you. If not, just take what applies to you and leave the rest for somebody else on the channel. So um, let me shuffle here a couple more times. So the first card that flipped out here, and I'll show you, and I'm just gonna keep on shuffling and I'm gonna talk. Um, the hanged man so if you're single and you're maybe taking a certain way at people at um at your love life i you know i see so many people when they're when they've broken up a relationship and they're single and they kind of have the, have this sort of like blaming mentality where oh oh that other person they did this and that and really stuck in that sort of negative mindset and then you know, all women are like that or all men are like that that's really you know if that's what you think that's what you're gonna get right so if you can step back and kind of think well you know there was two of us in that relationship and you know it could have gone wrong because we reacted badly to each other and kind of own that and then move on and think that you know there could be somebody that would match you a little bit better and kind of have a higher vibration towards that keeping in mind that what you expect out of life is probably exactly what you're going to get right so keep that in mind so for couples i'm just seeing a little bit of a squabble you guys not understanding each other really you need to step back and look at the other person's way of seeing something maybe come to the table and ask it um, be available to hear the other person because you're kind of shutting them out and I'm seeing blaming here um, with this hanged man card. It's whether you're in a single um, scenario or in a relationship you're kind of taking the um, tactic of blaming the other person for everything that's going wrong and it's not going to serve either one of you it's not going to serve anybody so I'm um, definitely seeing a need to change that energy to be more understanding and open and available to um, the fact that other people have their own thought processes and try a little harder to understand them. So interesting card to start your reading off with here, Capricorn. So here we go. We'll pull another one. <clears throat> nice. Got the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is like the karma, the karma card, um, karmic flashback. For singles, I'm seeing somebody from your past could be coming back in for you. Somebody that, you're the one that got away, the one that, well, you know, my whole life would have been different if, you know, so-and-so were still in my life. I'm, I'm seeing there's a really strong possibility um, that somebody, if not that exact person, somebody that is sort of on the same level, you know, where you guys understood each other. There was just a really strong connection. I'm seeing either that person is gonna come back for you or somebody that you'll be able to connect with in that same sense. They're gonna be coming back here with the um, orange tabby. <laughs> so couples, I think you're steadily trying to work back towards a place where you really understood each other um, and you were a bit happier. I think you're uh, honestly, I think going through a bit of a rough patch right now, but I'm definitely seeing where that's going to subside and you have more like a harmonious, like kind of that fresh when you first got together. I think you've got a maybe a bit of a, a history with each other that's kind of clouding your current reality. And you both kind of have to let that go in order to move to your, you know, your your happier days, right? Because it's here for you. And I think you're just forgetting um, how much you guys love each other and can get along. There's something like a sticking point here 
and you're kind of using it to draw like battle lines, which is, you know, not fun. So the next card I have for you guys is the Page of Pentacles. So I'll let you have a look at this card here. So pages are definitely the messenger of tarot and pentacles are related to abundance. So generally this would be related to a financial abundance, you know, wealth, um, manifesting wealth, but this is a love reading. So this is something that you know, you're manifesting love right now. You're you're manifesting a more harmonious way of living. This is a really, really good card here, you guys, if you're in a relationship and things are a little bit rocky right now. Um, I mean, you've got the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, so things are coming back around. And for singles, yeah, you definitely have something coming in for you. You're going to hear about something or someone. Uh, singles, I, I think some of you could be getting an email or a text message from somebody from the past. Or you could have an opportunity to go to a high school reunion or have, you know, some place where you're going to bump into that person that you're like, oh, I should have never let them go. And then we've got the chariot here. So the chariot is an indication of a new energy coming in for you. It's a little bit stuck right now. So that's why we actually have the hanged man, because when you put these cards together here, look at the chariot and see that it's being drawn by um, two Sphinx. So if you're familiar with Sphinx, they are a stationary um, figure. So the way you're looking at things right now is making things inert. So in e in order to get life breathed into the chariot for you it's going to take your change of mind for that to happen because when when you look at things differently they will change for you honestly so that's what i'm seeing here for singles and couples very interesting um you could you're perfectly capable of setting things to the side or starting a conversation or doing things a little bit differently so that things will come back to you differently. So pretty interesting read for you guys. Um, definitely seeing some past love coming up for singles and couples. Like when I'm saying past love for couples, it's, it's your love. It's that, you know, when we first met love, when we first got married or bought a house or whatever your commitment looks like. Pretty interesting. So let me just shuffle the Romance Angel Oracle cards for singles and couples. I'm going to pull the singles card first. There. Okay. Here we go. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is a pretty cool card and kind of fits into what I was just talking about with the hanged man. Um, like definitely if you're single and you're of a certain age, you know, um, if you broke up with somebody, it's for a reason, right? So it can be really easy to sit and stew in that um, sort of a vibrational hell, you know, and have regret and like, oh, you know, but that's not getting you anywhere. So that's where we're seeing the make the effort, like get out of that vibration, like step out of that, like it's not doing you any favors so you know if you had a bad experience with one person that's just one person it doesn't mean that everybody else you can you meet is going to be that person you know what I'm saying it's definitely um you have to decide what you want retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so if this is you guys in a couple and you're kind of having that that hard time with each other and you want to get back to where you know your love life used to be like if you need to be able to sort of have a different perspective on your relationship you might want to just definitely take some time out you guys like go for a nice couple's weekend or even spend a day at the spa or something like that just get away like shut off your cell phones don't let outside influences in um, and definitely just really connect to who each other are again, because singles and couples, you have really powerful 
indication here with the six of cups that you know everything could go full circle and you will be in this like garden of joyful flowers and orange tabbies once again and I keep on pointing out the orange tabby because I, I had one for 18 years and I loved him but anyway um yeah you definitely have the chance to do that and you're in control of your own energy here is what I'm seeing so you can definitely make things move all you have to do is want to right so Great reading for you guys for Capricorn. I hope this resonated. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please take, take a second and do that. And I'll leave the reading here for now, you guys. And we'll talk to you really soon. Love you guys. Bye.